Brie Larson might be done playing Captain Marvel after the Marvels. She has recently spoken up and expressed frustration with all of the hate that she's been getting and Marvel Studios' plans for her have changed. So the Marvels could be the last time that we actually see Brie Larson as Captain Marvel. Now I'm sure she's going to go on to appear in Avengers Secret Wars. However, if some of what we've been hearing, some inside information about Secret Wars is true, then we really might not see her a lot and the Marvels is kind of going to be her last big outing. Plus we know that the MCU reboot is coming after Avengers Secret Wars and from what we understand, this is kind of an opportunity for Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige to basically pick what is working and keep it and then toss out what isn't working. The only question is, will Kevin Feige and Brie Larson think that Captain Marvel is working or not? And it certainly sounds like, at least right now, Brie Larson does not think that Captain Marvel is working at least not for her, not based off of what she said recently and not based off of this new report that we're hearing that of course we're going to dive into. What we've been hearing is that Brie Larson is reportedly disillusioned with her Marvel role as Captain Marvel. And she reportedly became disillusioned with her role after all of the toxic backlash. And unfortunately, she has indeed received her fair share of toxic backlash. And she has addressed it before. One time she stated, I don't have time for it. The things that I have extra time to really look at are like, am I eating healthy food? Am I drinking water? Am I meditating? Have I called my mom today? However, and unfortunately, that was when she first began her role as Captain Marvel. And now it seems like things have changed a little bit and the hate might have gotten to Brie Larson just a little bit as well. Which is understandable, because now she is saying different things and her future of Captain Marvel doesn't sound so bright anymore. Recently, when asked about returning beyond the upcoming The Marvels movie, Brie Larson said, Does anyone want me to do it again? Question mark. This is a response that tells us three things, really. One is that, yes, she has continued to get hate. She is aware of it. And two, it is affecting her. Obviously, if you feel like nobody wants you to play the role, that's going to discourage you from wanting to play the role as well. And the third thing is that the future of Captain Marvel right now is definitely unclear. And according to a recent report, Brie Larson has straight up said she doesn't want to play Captain Marvel anymore. This report is coming from Joanna Robinson, one of the writers of MCU The Reign of Marvel Studios. And she revealed this in an interview with the podcast The Watch. And she is the one who is also reporting that Brie Larson has grown disillusioned with Captain Marvel as well. She stated in this interview, the future of those Marvel icons was unclear. The departure of franchise anchors like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, and Scarlett Johansson had already taken its toll as had the shocking loss of Chadwick Boseman, but other MCU stalwarts were heading for the exits. The Guardians of the Galaxy cast went on a farewell tour, Brie Larson grew disillusioned, and Marvel tussled with Sony in a custody battle over Tom Holland. She then later said, Marvel Studios put Brie Larson in a prominent place in the MCU. I don't know if Brie Larson was the wrong person for the role necessarily, but the toxic backlash means that Brie Larson doesn't want to play Carol Danvers anymore. So if this is a true report, then the hate really has gotten to Brie Larson, which means she could either be replaced if she doesn't come back or the MCU could simply write her out, which wouldn't be hard to do considering what their plans are. We'll talk about how they could do that, but first, big thank you to G2A for sponsoring this video. If you have not heard of Gate to Adventure, please allow me to introduce them to you. They are your ultimate destination for all things digital entertainment. They have amazing deals on things like gaming, software, and gift cards to your favorite places like Amazon, Netflix, Tinder, and more. And the best part is, is it all comes at an amazing discount and is delivered instantly. G2A is your perfect adventure terminal. And the best part is right now, G2A is throwing a massive birthday bash. And we are talking jaw dropping discounts, exclusive limited time deals, and a gaming lineup that'll leave you in awe. Right now offering discounts on games like Mortal Kombat 1, FC 24, and Cyberpunk 2077. So if you are ready to level up your gaming collection and get these games at amazing, unbelievable 
affordable prices. Head to gate 2 adventure over at g2a.com slash bday or click the link in the description down below. And remember when it comes to digital entertainment, G2A is the place to be. Now, unfortunately, another thing that is kind of going to affect Brie Larson remaining Carol Danvers in the MCU is the box office performance and what people think of the movie, the fan ratings, the Rotten Tomato ratings. That's all going to affect her. And sadly, right now, the Marvels is tracking lower than Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And sadly, there's a lot going against this movie right now. I did a video a few weeks ago about how I think this movie, sadly, is going to fail. Not because I want it to, because I do not want this movie to fail. I actually think it's going to be a pretty good movie. And I do like... Brie Larson. But unfortunately, this movie really does have a lot going against it. And sadly, that's not going to help Brie Larson want to remain Captain Marvel in the MCU. Now, she did say at one point in time that a huge part of why she wanted to play Captain Marvel was the connection between Captain Marvel and Kamala Khan in the comics. And that is what this movie is going to be about. So hopefully she at least had a lot of fun filming the movie. And I've met Amon Vellani who plays Miss Marvel and she's a delight. So I'd like to think that her and Brie Larson had a lot of fun on set. But here's the deal. If these inside reports are true and she's disillusioned with the character and doesn't want to play the role anymore, it's not that hard to kind of get her out of that role. We've learned that Marvel Studios really wanted Brie Larson's Captain Marvel, Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther, and Tom Holland's Spider-Man to be the main characters of the MCU moving forward after Avengers Endgame. As mentioned, it didn't really work out for them because of the unfortunate passing of Chadwick Boseman, the hate that Brie Larson got, and the Sony, we'll call it a kerfuffle when it came down to keeping Spider-Man in the MCU. They didn't know if he was going to remain in the MCU, so that put a big damper on Marvel Studios' plans after Endgame. So their plans have changed a little bit, and perhaps Brie Larson's Captain Marvel isn't really a main focal point of the MCU. But to be fair, right now, there isn't really a main focal point of the MCU. There's no one prominent character right now. I said this the other day, but you could probably argue for Doctor Strange and Spider-Man, but there's nobody really in that Iron Man spot or Captain America spot right now. And here's what we've heard about Secret Wars. We've heard that in the MCU, the entire multiverse is going to to start collapsing. Incursions are going to happen left and right, and basically universes are going to die. So from what we've heard, the TVA is going to go to random universes and save heroes and bring them to one universe that is stable and not being destroyed. So in that universe, we're going to have a bunch of different heroes from other universes together. As of right now, that's really all we know. We don't know the reason the TVA is saving them. It probably is so they can kind of all contribute to restoring the multiverse. But again, we we haven't heard about that. And another thing we don't really know is our universe. What happens to our universe? Does the TVA take people from our universe and put them in this other one? Or is our universe the place where all of the heroes are going to be put? If the TVA decides to take people from our universe to save them because it is being destroyed, then that's a really easy way to essentially get rid of any character and actor in the MCU that we have right now. And based off of what Joanna Robinson said before, that is what Kevin Feige wants to do. He essentially gets to pick and choose what's working and what's not working. Whatever is working, he brings into the new universe that will exist after Secret Wars and what isn't working, he leaves behind. So sadly, it's not that difficult to kind of wash out any character at this point in time, which means if Brie Larson wants to be done as Captain Marvel, she probably is going to be done. Now, I hope Captain Marvel 2, aka the Marvels, is a success, even if it isn't a box office success. I hope the fans like it. I hope it gets good Rotten Tomato scores, and maybe that'll kind of revitalize Brie Larson to play the role, and she'll stick around. But if that is not in Marvel Studios' plans, if that's not in Brie Larson's plans, then it looks like there's a very easy out. And if the movie doesn't do well, which it's not tracking to do well right now, and Brie Larson really is kind of done with the role, this could be the last time we see her, because if they are picking and choosing characters from universes and putting them into one, she could very easily be left out. Which means she might show up a little bit for Avengers The King Dynasty, but from what it sounds like, that movie's going to be pretty grounded. The superheroes are going to be pretty grounded as well. So maybe she doesn't show up then, and maybe she shows up for a little bit in Secret Wars, but it's a possibility that she might not even show up then as well. So I hope it's not the case, but this could be the last time that we see Brie Larson as Captain Marvel in 
the Marvels. Let me know what you think about that down below. Does this make you upset? Does this make you happy? I know there's people on both sides. Either way, it is pretty sad that she's gotten so much hate that it's kind of discouraged her playing the character. But let us know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest news. And if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. The winner picks one item, and we pick one winner at the end of each month. We're also on Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow us on there. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.